With us now is Rich Salgado, and <laughs> we all know him. I'm like, he comes on every month. We love him. He's one of our favorite correspondents. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great, Donna. You know, this. I look forward to this all the time because uh, we've been friends for so long, and uh, and like I tell everybody, I, I tell everybody, I've seen your growth and development, and you're... I would say you're a pioneer, especially for out here in Long Island. Thanks. And uh, it's applauding what you've what you've done and what you continue to do and what you're going to do going forward. Thank you. I treat it like a sport. You know, when I'm on the field, I am on the field. Yeah. And when I'm not on the field, I'm doing all those like behind the scenes, play by play strategies you know, thinking things, thinking about the angles and stuff. So I guess it's kind of like being an athlete. I think you approach life like that too. Um, what are you up to lately? You know, here we are, it's after Thanksgiving, a little bit before uh, the winter holidays, Christmas and Hanukkah. So what's in, going on in your world? Well, obviously uh, it's well documented now that I've been on this health kick. Yes. So, uh, you know, I had an inspirational voice behind me that said, you need to do this, and I've been doing it. And it's funny, you look at me, I'm down 60 pounds. I can and, tell in photos. And it's been diet, it's been cardio. Right. And uh, which has been, at times, you're like, ugh. But then you get through it, and, and you know what? I'm excited now. Like, I Good. get out of bed at like quarter to six, six o'clock, and I go at it. And, and let me get it in, and it's like part of my life now. So, you know, that's been kind of the new thing that I've been up to. But I have some other interesting stuff. Uh, this weekend, uh, for a friend of mine who's been a hospice care nurse for, mm -hmm. I think, 30-something years, uh, her name is Christine Pesner, um, they set up something where they are giving toys and gifts to children that have lost their one parent or both parents or you know, have had some sort of tragedy. So, so you've been a helper. Yes, a I'm going to dress helper. up as Santa. Yes. And it's going to be Big Daddy Santa Claus yeah. with some helpers. Great. And uh, we are going to try to put a smile on these kids' faces. You know, it's interesting that you say that because you have always been very philanthropic. But I feel like when you can help a child, just put the smile on the face of a child. You've done many things throughout the years helping children in yeah. that way. You know, you know what? I don't. I, I I've had the misfortune of not having my own children, so you know what? When you're able to share whatever experience that, you know what? I've done some of the greatest things on this planet, and if I could put a smile on a child's face, you know, I uh, shared something that came up on social media the other day. Uh, there, was, there was a young boy that uh, he lost his father, and uh, his favorite team and player was the Miami Dolphins and Dan Marino. Hmm. So I made it a point to take the child to the game and I said, you're gonna meet Dan Marino. And it was on Facebook actually yesterday, <laughs> I believe. And the, and the Miami Dolphins posted the picture, not even wow. me, they wow. did. It. And there's the young boy, I'm standing next to his mother and Danny and him interacting. And let me tell you something, that even gave me a tear because I'm like, here's one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game. Take time to come over and say hi. And, you know, I talked to Danny beforehand. And for him to do that, I mean, it's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. And, you know, the thing with hospice, it's an important thing. It I, is. I've learned, you know, through some interactions with uh, Karen and Allison Pesner, who are the daughters. And, you know, we were joking around, and all of a sudden, here I am, Big Daddy Santa Claus. And hospice is, and I've learned from them how important it is. And some of these kids, you know, sadly, there's no parent, there's no gifts, there's no... So um, we're going to try to fill that void. I love it. Did you, I don't know if I ever shared this with you, but you, and I know you know that my husband Tom had passed away, yep. but Tom was home on hospice for a while on the purple team. And you know, hospice uh, care network and all the hospice groups um, across our area, they do important work. I mean, to be there at that transitional time and to be there for the family and especially now around the holidays. So I was so 
happy when I saw that you were going to be doing that. I was like, go rich, yay! Yeah. And it really just t takes an idea, you know, implement something safely and just do it. Step up to the plate, yeah. you know, be that person for someone else. It's the greatest time, I think, is to give the treasure of ourselves to someone else. You know what, and you, that's so well put, and, and I'm a big believer in it because, again, people see you just like you, they see me, and they're like, wow, he gets to do that, he does this, he does that. Well, who, who else gets to do that, you know? And it's one of the reasons that I also, it's kind of funny, our mutual friend, uh, the CEO of the Share Group, Anzalika, yes, Steen yes, Olson. Yes, yeah. You know, everyone said to me, well, why did you get into women's empowerment? Like, what, what, is, what, what are you doing there? Like, what's all that about? And I'm like, you know what? It, it just took sitting down and, and learning about what, and you're actively involved because you came to the last uh, event that they had in the city at the uh, serendipity. serendipity. Yep. And you know what? You get, and, and I knew some of the other women that were there. So you kind of get a feeling of, okay, this is what they're trying to do. And this is where they're going, and this is, you know, there's 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 a finish line, and and you know what, with work and with commitment and with people that are serious, that believe in something, you can make magic happen. And I tell her that all the time. It's, listen, you're in a position to do something about it. Yes. And you know what, I'll be here to, you know guide or help or assist whatever i'm not going to be the king leader because <laughs> you know that's your guy's job uh but you know what it, it, it's an interesting thing and it, you know what it's also about giving back you know it's putting uh as she would say the he she group thing together and listen to women that feel that they may be getting shortchanged or they're not being paid attention to or you know, because women have ideas like men do. And Absolutely. there's a, and believe me, I know a lot of successful women that I would recommend to be a part of the share group and even do the uh, interviews or the Zoom calls or whatever. And, uh, and that's why we're going to interact with them as well as we discussed uh, with the Big Daddy Celebrity Golf Classic. You know? I think it's great bringing both genders together and doing fun things and, you know, learning from each other, having open conversation yeah. about how does it make me feel when this happens? What's the solution for that? How can we better handle this together as a team? You know, what's great too is you have this new thing called Big Daddy and Friends. Yeah. <laughs> so before we wrap up, can we just like, that, that's that cool. Is, uh, that is a, a fun project. Okay. It was, uh, you know, being with my affiliation at Fox, um, some of the guys that were over there thought, thought, Big Daddy, you should do a podcast. And I was like, at first I was kind of like, eh, well, you know, okay. And then all of a sudden, you know what? I sat back and, I, and obviously I listened to two or three people. Okay, let's do it. And then the funniest thing is, here I am where I'm usually getting people to go on, you know, your show other or some other shows. shows and right. all. Now all of a sudden I got to get them to come on with me. And, you know, and everyone's been like, yes, and, and it's been great. And I got some, you know, you know, I got some incredible guests are going to be coming on. But it's funny because it's like, it's a real like chat. It's not like, hey, we're going to talk about Super Bowls and what you did. and what. No, nah, you know what? Let ESPN and everybody else do all that. We are going to have a chat. One on one, we laugh. We, you know, we talk about our history and our past. And you know what? You're gonna have to come on too, by the way. Oh, I would love so, to come and, on. Uh, I, so maybe yeah. even like lucky socks. You know what I'm saying? Like I see that you've got really nice uh, socks on today, right? Yeah. But I'm sure like there's probably some of the players that you're gonna be having on or whatever. They probably still have like their game socks from certain games and stuff that they might not be talking about, right? The nitty gritty there's always, of like, yeah, like there's funny a superstitious, little behind the scenes yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. Always, and that's the one thing that we try to bring out is I'll say to the guest, okay, now at the end, you got to ask me a question, you okay. know, like, and, and, you know, I had Kevin Weeks on and that interview actually, that goes up today. Oh, so uh, if everyone wants to see that, you yes. go to www.sportsnut.com. N A U T though. Okay. Dot com. Almost like an astronaut. Yeah. N A U T. Got N A U T. It. Okay. Dot com. Sports not. So that should be up today. Uh, I did a great interview with the Islanders head coach Barry Trotz last week. That nice. went up, and that received a lot of lot of great 
so many people are so nice. I'm like, man, I don't even know these people. And they're all like, hey, big deal. Because they enjoy, you know what it is? You're, you're friendly, you're kind, and they enjoy your style. So um, I'm excited for you. So congratulations on everything that you've been doing in life. And there's more to come. Yep. Um, there, listen, we have a lot to do together. Still, I know, so much. So much to do. To do. And, uh, you know, we, I, if you don't mind, I'm going to tell everybody, she has a brand new studio that's opening up. And that thing is going to be badass. And I can't <laughs> wait to be... Not only be a part of it, but to see all the guests that you're going to be co are going to be like, it's like walking into uh, you. You just left a one bedroom apartment and you went into a seven bedroom house. Absolutely, you know? and we've been having fun here too at Cave Studios. It's eight minutes away, so we're going to be doing a yeah, lot of shared a lot content. Of, a lot of, a lot of it is a really good time in life. It really is. It's yeah. it's an exciting time. So there's so. two things I want to say. Yes, one, dear. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to everyone out there from both of us. Yep. And also because she couldn't be here from the Share Group CEO, Angelica Steen Olson. She wants to wish everyone a happy holiday. And uh, we have a lot to get to. Absolutely. And it's exciting. Everything's exciting. Even though, you know, we're going through this COVID and all that, we will all work through this thing and we will get back to where we need to be and make things even a whole lot better. That's how, that's my mindset and that's the way I'm thinking. That's it. Winners win. Yep. Doers do. Right? Cheer, cheerleaders cheer. So uh, we're cheering you on at home. So happy, blessed holidays to you. This is Rich and I. This is what, this is what we do when we sit down and we eat lunch together, yeah. which is we don't have any food in front of us this time. But um, please, blessings to you upon blessings. And if you want to join us in any of the philanthropic things that we're doing, uh, you could reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Oh, Be I well. do want to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait but there's always more. I'm wrapping up. But I, yeah, yes, Rich. Yes. Yes, I interrupted again. I forgot that. My, you know, my Santa, <laughs> my Santa debut this weekend. Yes. If you want to be a part of that, and if you donate over a hundred dollars, yes, I will send you an autographed Big Daddy Santa picture. Aha! So you have to go to www.thinkhappyny.com, right, for either the picture or for a donation because we want I to raise that. money to buy gifts. Perfect. Are you feel whole and complete now? Now I feel whole Hold and complete. Wait, excellent. And I'm sorry for the uh, hiccup. And uh -huh. Oh, no, no. It's adorable. You're so cute. I just love having you. And, that, and that's how it goes, all right? This is real TV. This is what we do. This is how we roll. Um, so please, if you can make a difference in your community, stand up and make a difference. Take care. Bye. I'm really signing off now. Okay. Bye. <laughs>